Hello and welcome to my Friday and what a long day we've got today and tomorrow as well. I've got two very long days. We're getting Izzy from uni but she went so far away that it's a two day job because we're going to drive up tonight, well this afternoon, I'm going to leave about half past one and we'll arrive there in the evening. We're going to check into a travel lodge, me and my boyfriend are going to have a nice dinner together in a restaurant and then spend the night there in the travel lodge and then get to Izzy nine o'clock the next morning she'll be about half an hour away from the travel lodge and then pack all her stuff into his van which she's bringing because she apparently has accumulated more stuff since she went and we only just squeezed it in on the day if you watch that vlog of us taking her there in the first place it's amazing her face wasn't like squished up against the window in the car honestly it was that packed and you know apparently she's got more stuff so he's like Let's just take the van. And also, on moving in day, they had all these buggies, like, you know, with a little driver in to put all the stuff in a big cage. It was so organised, but she said that's not happening in reverse as everybody's sort of leaving on different days. Everyone's just got to sort themselves out. So my boyfriend has got two big sort of trolley things. So we're going to use both of those to cart her stuff back and forth. And we, I don't think we can get the vehicle near her campus room. And I'm going to be able to tell you where she is now because she's not going <laughs> back oh i knew from february she sent me a message she said mum i can't remember her exact words but basically she loves the uni she loves the area she loves living independently she loves the subject but she does not love the course and she's got another three years left of undergraduate funding first degree funding so she could start again on another one and that's what she intends to do uh, my heart did sink when she at first imparted the news to me. I was in Portugal at the time, but she knows her own mind. She's not daft. She's thought long and hard about things. She's researched and she said she just doesn't want to waste her undergraduate funding on a degree that she's not enjoying and engaging with. And she, she's probably going to take a year out. She has had a, a diagnosis of a health condition which is lifelong. It's one of those ones that everybody is affected differently. She's fine at the moment absolutely fine at the moment but it's one of those ones that can flare up without any warning at all you can sort of go from fine to a and e in just no time at all you know so we don't really quite know what her stamina levels are going to be like anyway so in a way i'm kind of glad to have her home for a year so she can i don't know do whatever she's going to do she says she's going to get a job for a year and uh, just keep an eye on things work out what her new her new level is if it's changed at all i don't know um She's in good health at the moment. She, she had a course of treatment. She's, she's fine now. Um, yeah, so we're going to Liverpool, basically. Edge Hill, <laughs> in fact. Liverpool tonight, Edge Hill tomorrow, which is Ormskirk. Uh, so there we are. That's, that's our big news. I didn't want to make a big song and dance about it in the title or anything because it's my daughter's own business, really. But she's, she wants to rethink her future a bit. She loves the industry that she's chosen to work in. She definitely wants to work in that industry. But she's not sure if she wants to take the very narrow path that her degree course was on, which is particularly narrow. I think she wants to broaden her horizons a little bit within the industry and do a less sort of end goal specific course, if you know what I mean. Right. So anyway, I'm going to pack my stuff into a trolley, the one I got yesterday. If you watch my shopping vlog, <laughs> I bought a new trolley from Ikea. I flipping love it. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> It's a small face. No, it's actually a big thing. It makes a big difference when you don't drive and you get a good good shopping trolley. Anyway, I'm going to pack my stuff in there because I've got a gig tomorrow in Bristol. So we're going to go Liverpool, our house, and then hopefully I leave with Mick in time for the gig. But if there's a disaster and we get massively held up in traffic, I'll have to go directly to the gig. So I've got to take all my gigging gear with me as well as my overnight bag just in case that ends up happening. So it's going to be a load of stuff to carry again on public transport so it's a bit of a pain but it is what it is isn't it um yeah i want to try and sort out the spare room a little bit so there's room for all her gazillion million boxes of crockery and goodness knows what else and i want to give the place a good hoovering as well and um yeah the whole place is just going to be full of stuff soon yes right I'm going to do that before getting my flute out for a practice because I'm saving that till last in case I don't get time to do it because it's, it's having to go down on the priority list today. <laughs> I've talked, I'm like, I will have cut it down but we're on nearly five minutes right now so I'm going to stop talking. I had a big splurge on Amazon the other day so at some point I'm going to be opening those up. I don't know whether to do a Amazon haul video on the Shop With Immo channel or to just include it as part of a vlog on this channel so what do you think? <laughs> Any preference at all or do you want to just leave it to my discretion? Squad. 
washed in. <laughs> it was crowded when I got on, it's empty now. I'm off the bus. I've arrived, I think, 10 minutes earlier than he's getting here. He's got held up, the usual thing, work. He's trying to sort all his loose ends out before leaving his work for the weekend, basically. And it is Friday today, so he's, he's doing a half day. So he's coming in his van. I'll drop my stuff off, my great huge amount of stuff, in the van. And then we're going to go to M&S together and buy some food for the road. And I'm quite hungry, so I'm quite looking forward to that. I might get a pasta salad or something. It's an absolutely flipping gorgeous day. It's beautiful. I'm feeling somewhat laden. I've got a, a fleecy top hanging off that strap, a coat hanging off that strap, trolley. It's my gigging gear, you see, gigging and vlogging gear. And I always think, well, if I get stranded, at least I can do work on my laptop. I've got my laptop, so I've got my laptop. Flu, you know, we might find a session later as well. We don't know yet. IB's not sure if there is one or not, so might have a little look and see might be nice to go meet some people we've never met before and play music with them but that may not happen or they may be a bunch of children which is fine i don't mind playing with a bunch of children that's absolutely fine because quite often the children are better than the adults <laughs> when you've got something in common it doesn't matter what age you are it's just it's just fine right anyway i'm going to stop yabbering on and go and head to mns there's an m &S over there heading in that direction. It's making my stomach rumble as I think about that food shop there. I'm standing outside m &S here waiting for my boyfriend and um, one of the doors is blocked off by there and almost everybody has just walked towards it and not noticed until the very last moment that it's blocked off. They've just sort of been in creature of habit mode, I think. It's not like they've been on their phones. They're just, I don't know, distracted by thoughts or something. These two are an exception. Look, they just made a liar of me. <laughs> so many people have just practically got to the door and gone, oh. <laughs> I forgot I was a vlogger there. I've been wandering around oh, m and oh, looking at food. IB's about to leave lead me astray and it's persuaded me to find some chocolate. Oh look at this, oh, it's so good. It's crowded in here actually. Right, where's the chockey aisle gone? I've lost it. Could it be here? Uh, I think that's biscuits. They're probably near the till aren't they? Because they catch people on their way out and they're like, nope, I'm not getting chocolate. And then you get to the till and then you're like, oh, it did look so good. Okay, chocolate is hiding, but I have found snowballs. If you're going to break your resolve and eat something rubbishy, this is the thing to have. Oh my goodness, they're two pound for eight. Oh, wait, go in that one. IB does not like to queue. I don't mind because I just do Duolingo on my phone. It's time for feasting. This is what I chose, but there are other items to pick out in that bag. IB's gone to town a bit, haven't you? Oh, yes. Oh, that's because you've gone in starving, you see. That's true. That's what happened there. I love this. It's going down a treat because I'm really hungry and it's, it's a hot day, actually, and it's chilled. Mm, that's my spork from home. I'm glad I brought it now. Let me see what you're eating. Oh, no, look at that. Cheesy selection. Mm -hmm. He's trying out this. This is like an olive covered in some kind of coating. Has it got truffle in it or something? No, yeah, well, they're stuffed olives, but I don't know what's in them. Mm, they are veggie. I'm sure garlic. And there's three different types. So. Oh, I see. I pinched some of his cheese and tomato as well. Seven o'clock arrival at best. Anyway, this is our picnic view today. Got the aircon on in the van. We're on the move. And we couldn't wait for the... Mm. We have different eating speeds when it comes to this sort of thing. Though to be fair, he is driving. He just goes, hum, hum, gone. And I'm like, nibbly, nibbly, nibble, lick out the mallowy bit, <laughs> nibble a bit more of the chocolate separately to the mallow, then a bit more of the, etc. Take me ages. It's all a bit weird that, if you ask me. Making the most of it, savouring every last bit. You might recognise this if you were paying attention. A few vlogs ago, came this way with Mick going through the Brecon Beacons. And I, oh, I've got it, Brecheniog, it's his Welsh name. We've been going some time. It's 20 past four now. We met, what, 2.40ish, something like that. We're in Bilth Wells. The sun's completely in the wrong place for video, but this camera's not too bad at that, actually, so I'm going with it. I think it's coffee ahoy at some point, fairly soon, because we thought we'd save the coffee till after we'd eaten, just, you know, break up the trip a bit. It's a very pretty hall coming up there, isn't it? I filmed in Bilth Wells before. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure I walked up and down the street, so I can link that video at the, the end of this. Art Centre. Nice little tower, clock tower off. Yeah. Interesting how they blocked those windows up. Yeah. But that mm. must have been some time ago. Oh, oh yeah, we parked Mighty over there, y. didn't we? The River Y. W Y E, not W H Y. There's the Flannel with arms. Yes, the problem with this Astra Express is there's a custom machine in it. Oh, 
Oh, isn't there like an inlet there where you can get in and there's loads yeah, of different it things? Costa, I don't think they've got a drive through Well, we could always park and go in, stretch your legs. We've got a Greg's if you want a Greg's coffee. No, I don't want Greg's coffee. I don't think they are a unless they've built one. The washing machines have gone. There was washing machines. Yeah. The coin up ones. Well, they're probably not coins these days, are they? I don't know what they are. We haven't found a cost We're just kind of oh, doing the multi point turns. A, <laughs> that must just mean that there's a. Uh, it's probably just a machine in the a shop. Machine in the shop. Ibe wants a proper coffee made by a barista. Yeah, a proper copper coffee pot. I may go off my dot if I don't have coffee in a proper coffee You're pot. You're already off your dot, you are, mate. Oh, he's losing the plot again. Look, what's this? this? Is it a the race? Showground, the Royal Welsh Showground. Oh. So we're on the pursuit of coffee. Well, it's something to look forward to, isn't it? We're having a bit of a, you know, a long drive. Where are we coming to, IB? Llandrindod Wells. Ah, oh, now we did this recently and you said something about Llandod. Oh, no, I said, oh yeah, the how tall the houses are, like in the Isle of Man. It's coming back to me now. National Cycle Museum. Oh, I'd like to go in there. I was looking down there and there's this like what looked like a powder puff in the corner so I, I prized it out and look look it's this little fella and I base jammed him in there because he doesn't like it looking at him apparently giving him the stank eye he said he said you can have that don't like it looking at me with it's one eye well it's got two actually it's just the other one's a bit buried you can come home with me my little sweetheart it's a bit of a roving eye Aww. I'm a rover, seldom sober. I'm a rover of high degree. It's now half past five and we're still looking for coffee and all we've been doing is driving, driving, driving. I've been nearly nodding off and that's it really, been listening to some music. So let's see if we can get some coffee. Just to be clear, we haven't been driving and driving in search for coffee. Oh no, we've been driving on the route and keeping an eye out for coffee. That coffee stop was not a coffee stop. There was just nothing. There was only machines. Ivy is ready for a break from driving. He wants to sit down now. Anyway, we're coming up to Oswestry and we're rather hoping there'll be a cafe to go in and have a coffee in. Imminently. Fingers crossed. Flandersilia. Oh, I think we've just gone through the whole thing and we didn't happen upon a cafe. I think there might have been one if we'd have... Yeah. We have finally found a Starbucks and we're going to go and sit in, hopefully. It says Starbucks drive through but presumably yeah. it must have a sit-in option. Oh. Look, there's big, what do we call those, cherry pickers? Yeah. It looks like a fun fair. There's loads of them. They go quite high, don't they? Six o'clock, we're on foot, walking in the direction of Starbucks. Time to get some caffeine. Oh, oh. it's a good job I got uh, good footwear on. That door just closed on my foot. Nice and empty, look. I know what that, and they'll say, oh, we're just closing. <laughs> that happened before to us. We had 10 minutes though. So tired. I've gone for an Americano with milk. I'm gonna sit and have a bit of a rest. I don't know why I'm tired. I've just been in the passenger seat, but it's made me go all drowsy. Looks like we got the place completely to ourselves. I don't know where we think we're gonna go in 10 minutes, but I said, oh, I really wanna stretch my legs and he's nodding off. So we're gonna have a little 10 minute walk to see the cherry pickers and that's about it. And then we're gonna get back in the car again. Hoping to, you know, get the blood pumping a bit. Maybe there's a lorry firm here. There's loads of lorries and they all look pretty similar. How tall do they go? 45 feet, did you say? 45 meters. 45 meters? Probably longer. Well, how high is that tall one there? That's about eight at the moment. Eight, when well, it goes up to 45. Well, not that one. Some of them, though. You can see it's like telescopic. I don't know about that model, you know. No, I don't know if these will go much higher, These, this particular model. It is so reminds me of fun fair though. I just feel like they're going to start swinging round and the, I don't know, the baskets are going to be doing all this. And there's another load there as well. The battery's actually low on this camera. I must have forgotten to charge it, but I've got another camera and a, and a lead to charge us once we get back in the van, so it'll be fine. Yeah, IB oh. thinks there's an extra um, amount of articulation ability on this one. He didn't phrase it like that because he speaks better than me. <laughs> but yeah, so he reckons he's go really high. Right, so we we'll walk to Juicen. Walk to Juicen and then walk back to the car, the van. Yes, otherwise we'll never get there. We'll never get there. We're still going, it's 7.30. We should be there before too much longer. IB just randomly said, do you want to ring up the Irish club and ask them if there's a session tonight? So I did, and there is. It's like half past eight till 11. So 
I said, shall we forget about the restaurant and just eat the rest of the food we got in the bag now in the van? And he said, yes, all right then. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Yay, tunes, ahoy. Hi, I'm gonna have, well, it's save a few, Bob, and I'll go to the restaurant, won't it? What do you want, the, do you want anything now or not? IB says we are one minute away and to keep my eyes peeled. Oh, he's indicating going off this way. Travel Lodge is here. We appear to have just gone round a curve and going away from it now. <laughs> I don't quite know what happened there. Did we just go on that roundabout there? Three minutes of curve. To, uh, uh. Yeah. We're back on track. We put the sat nav on different. Apparently it was just on the postcode before. Now it's on the actual travel lodge. So yeah, it shouldn't be much longer. Up ahead, we've literally, we've gone round and round in circles. Mm. Well, there's a Starbucks there for breakfast coffee. Actually, we have the AeroPress and oat milk and coffee. So we're good for coffee in the morning. You say that, but... Why, have you forgotten it? No, I haven't, but you know, that thing takes time. So you're... Well, that's all right, because you always eight. get up earlier than me. <laughs> Well, all I'm saying is you're going to have to be up at seven. I know. Right, so we're off to check in, unload the bags. Well, I want to take some stuff out, change things around a bit so I'm not taking all my worldly possessions to the session. I'm not going to film at the session. I'm going to leave the cameras here. Anyway, let's go check in. Upstairs to the right. Smells well, like a fresh paint. I like staying in travel lodges. It's novel for me. I don't do it very often. Right, he does it a lot. Because of work. No. Oh, there we are. 204, 203, 202. We're right on the end. Oh, here's our room. Oh, look, we've got two baby beds. <laughs> if we fall out, you can go there and I'll go at the other end. <laughs> oh, could I go in the bathroom? Right, I'm just going to do a quick room tour of the bathroom. <laughs> Before somebody goes in it. Toilet, toilet. Right, I'll just, I'll just do this really quickly. Oh, we got a bath and a shower. I always feel like I need to... Um, have a bath or a shower in a hotel room. It's got all dark in here now, anyway. Here is the view from the window, not bad. I mean, it's a bit of green, so it's quite pleasant to look at. You can hear the roads. But that's fine, you know, I grew up on a, well, not a main road, but off a main road, and car noises just don't bother me when I go to sleep at all. Anyway, we're having a quick turn around, just both going to the loo, changing things in the bag around a bit, and then we're heading straight back out again. As I said, I don't want to take the camera because I don't know anybody here, and I don't want to just turn up and vlog them because it feels too rude to do it. But anyway, Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Tomorrow we'll be picking Izzy up and going all the way back down again to the way we just came <laughs> and going back to our house, checking her in, and then I'm gonna have to get ready and go out to my gig. So that's my plan for tomorrow. And the gig's in Bristol, so it's gonna be, ugh. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of time on my bum in a moving vehicle tomorrow. But anyway, it's a big day and it would be lovely to have my daughter back again. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Do feel free to give it a like if you happen to like it. I'll pop a playlist here of some more videos from me. So you're welcome to click on that and choose something else to watch if you like and I'll see you in the next video.